Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm back with another episode of the Tablet That Will Not Die, also known as the HP Touchpad. Uh, it was discontinued back in 2011, originally sold with WebOS software, but since then developers have been sort of hacking it to uh, get Android up and running, and uh, we've seen pretty much every major version of Android ported by somebody or other, and that's all the way up to Android 5.1.1, which is now running on this touchpad. Uh, this is an early build developed by uh, Flintman at the XDA Developers Forum. You can find more details in the HP touchpad forum of XDA developers, and it's based on the Evervolve custom ROM, and you can see it's running 5.1.1. And here are a couple of 5.1 tricks. We can view more Bluetooth and uh, Wi-Fi settings. We can choose how long priority or no notifications will be available. And it has all of your regular Android 5.0 uh, user interface tweaks as well. Now, since this is based on Evervolve, it also actually has a couple of extra tweaks. Uh, let's go into settings here. And in the toolbox, you can see that there's interface options, performance op options, status bar, and so forth. Uh, speaking of performance, web browser works pretty nicely. My fingers, doesn't, my fingers, on the other hand, uh, could probably work better. Wi-Fi is working. On-screen keyboard works. Now, there were some earlier builds of this that I did not report on, and that's because uh, Wi-Fi didn't always connect, and when you were typing using the keyboard, sometimes it would register double taps instead of single taps. Uh, that seems to have been worked out, starting with the, uh, the update from uh, April 27th. Google Play Store works. And YouTube works. But most Android tablets just run Android. And if you wanted to run a sort of desktop-like environment, there's a tool called Andromium. So that's a quick look at Android 5.1.1 based on Evervolve running on the HP touchpad. It's uh, it's not necessarily a tablet I would recommend going out and buying now, but if you've had one lying around for the last couple of years, since it was discontinued in 2011, it, uh, it keeps going. It's got a 9.7 inch display, uh, it's got a dual core Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, and it's capable of running pretty much any version of Android that you wanna throw at it. Although it does take a little bit of elbow grease sometimes to uh, replace WebOS with uh, Google Android. If you're in the market for a new tablet, there are probably cheaper uh, options that come with Android preloaded, uh, but this one I've been really impressed, I think, over the last couple of years to see what the independent developer community has done to keep this tablet that's been long since discontinued uh, up to date with new software. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a look at Android 5.1.1 uh, from Flintman and Evervolve running on the HP touchpad tablet.